Here we go, Adam. The match is underway. The Masters Finals. And Piper is going to kick things off, starting a Sobble, getting this game underway. Yeah, going to uh, you know want to get that bench nice and full, uh, looking at the options in the hand. Just an Just immediate a pass. pass. Not uh, much working for Piper over there on turn one. Work that he can do. We can already see a number of options in the hand. There's the trekking shoes, taking a look, discarding the boss's orders, uh, and grabbing that double turbo energy right off the top. I this card, actually, I think some of the damage numbers aren't needed as much. The cross switch are being discarded for the Chromomatic, which Ooh. is going to come up a Tails. Yeah, and lingering over. So giving up on a pair of cross switches. Uh, finally, he gets to go in the deck. And there's one in the prizes as well. Mm -hmm. So cross switcher, really not going to be an option for Isaac this game unless we see some Silene shenanigans bringing them back. I think the Chromomatic would have been huge there. And giving one of those cross switches kind of... Uh, you know, makes it obvious how Isaac wants to play this game, right? He wants to be able to just cards. attack whatever is in front, and he should be able to very easily get that knockout. Drops the two power tablets, attaches the double turbo energy so that Aura Korea will be able to retreat later on, but nothing off that Fusion Strike system for two uh, that he's feeling really good about. That said, Piper is now able to play a supporter. Playing to close this mm -hmm. turn out, and I think her grab of the Drizzile here maybe signifies that. That is an option onto the Drizzile, using Keep Calling, filling the bench up. Yeah, we're getting a good few turns into this game. Quick attach into the Keep Calling, a quick look through the deck as well, a check of the hand, uh, maybe just making sure some of those counts are good. But we are back over to Isaac with uh, the Oracorio. What a top the deck there. That yeah. Ultra Ball Ooh. makes Isaac's hand actually playable, maybe for one if the top deck was playable, so the Ultra Ball lets him thin the hand out. A lot better about this turn, but neither player really exploding into this game just yet. There's the Fusion Strike system for another Mew V, a Pokestop and another Ultra Ball. The threat over on Piper's side, here comes the Pokestop, immediately activated for an Ultra Ball, a Battle VIP pass, and an <laughs> the Cross Switcher as well. Add the copy of yeah. Cross Switcher in the prizes. I don't know about that one. It's yeah. going away with that Battle VIP pass. That's going to allow him to go back into the deck with the Ultra Ball for the use of that ability. That said, still missing another energy attachment uh, if you did want to go after this Sobble in the active. Uh, There's no Fusion Strike energies, anything like that. It is totally yeah. reliant on these Mew V Maxes, being able to have a turn to come into play and evolve. But to knock out that Mew V, uh, then it is that Aura Choreo, which I think would be a lot more. That Aura Choreo also providing longer value on the bench, things that are required. A Drizzle and the Hasuian Heavy Ball, the option here. Hasuian Heavy Ball diving right on in there. Uh, to take a look in the prizes and see what pieces uh, she would like to grab. There is, of course, that Sobble in there, so full complement. of Piper would be able to theoretically launch an attack off this turn, mm -hmm. could Rare Candy into Intellion, use that Shady Dealing's ability to fetch out an Energy Search, which would then grab the Energy card needed, mm -hmm. and then could let her swing with an Aqua Bullet. Now this turn, it's not going to really be much of an option for Piper to do any damage at all. I don't think we're going to be seeing any double spins. Uh, no, and then you did note the Rare Candy in a much more favorable position with most trainers drawing their prizes at bottom upwards. A lot of shady dealings coming through. The Mew also hitting the bench, maybe trying to get some mysterious tails walked in. An energy search coming through one of these Mew V Maxes. And this is kind of how Piper's deck functions most of the time. It's not very aggressive, though you can have the option to go in quickly with Intellion with the Rare Candy. It really is a deck that does not mind going behind, does not mind playing from behind, and it really does get powered up the more prizes your opponent takes thanks to that oh Radiant yeah. Charizard. You give up a few prizes, your Radiant Charizard, and the level ball coming right through. That allows Piper to keep on going through the deck potentially, but not this turn as she passes it back to Isaac. Isaac drawing for turn is a Mew V, so that could fill the bench, so we could yep. see more card draw from the Fusion Strike systems. Yeah, and, and if I'm Isaac and Piper's, you know, not had the quick Aqua Bullet turns, you really want to try to capitalize, start swinging as quickly as possible, though it will power up Piper's Charizard. you got to start attacking at some point. Yeah, he is going to start thinning out that hand with the Ultra Ball as well, discarding the Battle VIP pass first and the Switch as the second card required. Being able to go in full complement of six, the maximum available, which makes sense when every uh, Pokemon in your deck is a Fusion Strike Pokemon. Absolutely. One of the most powerful abilities in the game right now and possibly ever. Four cards drawn at this point. Another VMAX. Battle VIP pass, which we know can't be played. And yep. is that an Avery in hand? That could be pretty decent right now, it forcing could. Piper to discard a Sobble. Especially with that Mew in the active as well. Something that, you know, and something he's going to be able to grab immediately with that Fusion Strike system. So that goes onto the top. The next Mew VMAX goes down onto the Mew V. Uh, the, car, the hand is down to four. So drawing two more. One of the cards he knows about. And the uh, Double Turbo Ooh. Energies. Double Double, double turbo. Uh, yep, yeah, it's uh, two of them. Uh, and of course, now going. Well, Piper is mm -hmm. sitting on a pretty large hand. Ooh, and are we oh. seeing the 
Cross Fusion Strike copying the glistening droplets, the attack yes. on Oracorio. This is actually something I noticed him doing a lot in his top eight match. Wasn't just swinging for the knockouts, being a little more diligent about it, trying to avoid activating that Radiant Charizard too easily, uh, you know, because as soon as you get one, two, then the Radiant Charizard can just roar back and really do that damage. But the Glistening Droplets could make these turns a little bit harder, uh, you know, kind of forcing Piper to evolve. And then on the turn where you take the prizes, you're kind of really damaging the whole board at once. And the real problem for this strategy, though, from Isaac is that Piper loves to evolve all of her Pokemon up mm -hmm. into Pokemon that have higher hit points. Yeah, 20 going down on it right now. That's going to be really big. Of course, the Shady Dealings from putting that into play grabs the Cross Switcher and the Energy uh, Search as well. Oh, there is that scoop up now. So that damage already gone. Sobble goes back down. Drizzle going back down for another Shady Deal. And size, being able to fill it up turn after turn with rather thin so finding the piece is not going to be the big concern and that hand is looking uh, pretty significant as viper of course uh, attaching the air balloon to the mew that's stuck in the active and a pass uh, so isaac's glistening droplets a sobble so he will be able to take a knockout on it now with another glistening droplet so mm -hmm. he'll at least score a ko there but almost it with this Mew. Yep, and the Marnie Huge. cutting Piper's massive hand down that she'd accrued over the last few turns with all of those shady dealings and the Iridas as well, uh, dropping her right back down to four. Of course, knowing that the Inteleon was in hand as well from that scoop up net level. After that, Marnie. Her hand is not looking good at all. She's really going to be riding on this Mew, so I bet she is crossing her fingers right now that glistening droplets is what Isaac is hoping to do here. Yeah, and Isaac going back in the deck, uh, trying to have another, making sure that you're thinning the hand a little bit more before you use this Fusion Strike system. So Fusion Strike for three cards, so is able to decide what to do. Uh, is going to be another uh, Glistening Droplets, I believe. Uh, so yeah, just not taking the knockout. Isaac holding off on those. And Piper does find the Drizzile off the top deck. That will mm. be very useful, but not before using Mysterious Tail looking at the top six cards, and does find a scoop up net, which could <laughs> heal this little Sobble from all the damage it's accrued. Yeah, it is going to be evolved into the Drizzle Links, obviously. Incense. Evolution Incense is going to help finding pieces of the puzzle. It is going to be that Inteleon, another Shady Dealings, this time for two cards as well. So grabbing Radiant Charizard. Looks like she's deciding against the Magma Basin now, going back for a cross switcher. So many different. It's always really difficult to navigate exactly how you want to play each turn. Yeah, there's so many options, and it, it does show the mark of a truly top player. And geez, that Inteleon is going to be good to go. And I understand what Isaac is doing here with his line of play. He doesn't want to just feed into Piper's <laughs> Charizard and really power up that excited heart ability. But at the same time, he's not putting on any pressure and allows Piper to and then finally start swinging with this Aqua Bullet of Intel. That way, but this Inteleon in the active is causing problems. Uh, and now another glistening droplets. Zora Corio being a real focal point of this deck, feeding into that Charizard strategy and making sure that everything has a little bit of damage. Uh, so it's going to be three there and uh, two on the Mew. At time wanting to spread the damage and then maybe build things up to a point where he can take multiple prizes in a turn, I guess. Yep. And for two cards this time, uh, being able to grab the Irida and the Quick Ball off that one as the Inteleon hit the bench, making that even further away as a potential out. The scoop up net gets rid of that damage. The drizzle in this one. Uh, it's going to be the tool scrapper in this instance. As just well. to quick ball yeah. it away. What a luxury yeah. here. Having everything you need already. You yeah. can just. And so uh, there is going to be that sobble going back down. Uh, there's the magma basin finally. So being able to uh, you know attach uh, into the Charizard, get an energy on it for free. Uh, it does have to put the damage counters down. Thank you very much. Uh, tidy that one up. And another hundred, of course. Choreo, which is Becoming the main attacker, it seems, <laughs> yeah. does start things off by bumping Piper's Magma Basin with the Pokestop. It's absolutely huge, finding all the pieces all the time. Uh, and Ooh. it looks like it's just going to be a scoop for Isaac, uh, realizing that maybe he's a little bit behind the pace on this one. We'll see if he makes an adjustment here for the second game. Well, getting rid of the Sobbles, even getting rid of the Inteleons, gets rid oh, yeah. of key pieces that she would need to maybe hit that guaranteed easy Charizard and bring back that Charizard multiple times at the end of the game. Basin as well. So uh, a number of pieces missing. An opening with the Mana Fee, not the finest open uh, for this deck. A Genesect Fee on the bench and a number of options in the hand as well. So the Choice Belt, an easy discard for the Ultra Ball. I think, yeah, he's getting rid of the Cramomatic. Cramomatic because mm -hmm. it can be such a powerful card, but of course it is a flip effect. Isaac now with the Ultra Ball just grabbing out a Genesect. 
hoping to load the bench up with a bunch of Pokemon so that he can draw through. Let's Ooh. see it. One card draw. It's the Mew. And he gets the second one. Two so this more. is a two card. Uh, there's a, another Genesect. Not a bad. Trekking okay. Shoes. Gonna, he's just digging so <laughs> hard at this time. He discards the Power Tablet. He draws a Quick Ball. Um, but yeah, he's, done, he's used two already. He did give up the Cross Switches very easily last game. And it's going to be two cards off this one. It's going to be the Pokey Stop and yep. the Power Tablet. And he passes it over to Piper. And Piper's hand does have an Irida. And yeah, the Irida is going to be a nice easy one there to uh, make sure that the uh, the beginning of this deck comes to fruition. Uh, getting the Sobble drawn to the front right away. And that one. And that key uh, one of Mew as well is something that she may want to fetch out at some point mm -hmm. with the Hisuian Heavy Ball. We saw how useful of a pivot it was. So, so powerful. With that energy search, grabbing a water energy. Uh, there is the evolution incense for next turn. The scoop up net puts the mana feed back into the hand. Uh, and then it's just going to be a keep calling yes. to round out this turn for Piper. Very nice, and chooses not to re-bench the Manaphy, obviously not useful in this matchup. Quickly, that is going to be a Kramomatic, discarding the Power Tablet, and okay, heads okay. on this one. So we're able to go in the deck and grab whatever he needs to complete these puzzle pieces. You know, I mean, a Techno Blast is a little bit overkill, but it would definitely get a knockout. Ozen debating if he wants to go back into the deck. It looks like Double Turbo Energy was just the grab, and get another attachment, and Quick Ball does grab the Oricorio out of the deck. Nice. Radiant Charizard, so yes. if it worked from there, why wouldn't it work for him here? Attachment onto the Mew, and he's going to start with the Fusion Strike Systems. That's going to be a Fusion Strike System for five cards. Two more, assuming he can thin the hand down a uh, bit. Thinning it down with the Choice Belt, not really going to matter. He also played down the Poker Stop, but it's just going to Fusion Strike System for one. One. It's going to be Ultra Balls to thin these Pokemon out. You've only got yep. five bench spots. And Isaac is actually going aggressive here. Down goes Sobble, and Isaac takes the first prize. Yep, Isaac taking another one of the Pokestops off the prizes uh, and caused problems that way. So the first Drizzle comes through. There's the Shady Dealings for the Irida. The Irida is going to grab a Drizzle and an Energy Search. The Energy Search is going to grab the Fire Energy. What's next? Yes. Uh, before this Drizzle goes down, and we see another Shady Dealings. We'll just get the Charizard down, start powering it up, and just prepare for what Isaac makes sense on this time. So it does have access to maybe try and pull that up early and knock that one out quite readily. We'll make it much easier for her to attack with it on the next turn. One copy of Twin Energy has oh. access to. Yeah. But Isaac will play the cross switchers, bringing this up. And that may be something. Like, I mean, with, with the energy getting uh, dropped, that's going to be a problem. The Avery's not going to get the discard, but it's going to be three more cards for Isaac. And this is a big old hand for a new player. For now, he just is content just holding on to what he's got. Yeah, it's been taken back off the bench. The Pokestop finally hits the okay. field quite a lot. And the Pokestop's going with a Quick Ball. That's going to help thin. A Quick Ball's going to help thin. And an Ultra Ball's going to help thin even more. Uh, he's going to play that. Shun. And it's going to be the Genesect going in first. And there it is, the Mew V. It's thinning out the hand. Uh, is going to be able to get that Mew V Max, which is immediately going to get played down onto the Mew V. I also wonder if maybe this is an opportunity for Isaac to use these Cross Switchers and then now go for his Glistening Droplets play. Or will he just go for the knockout? No. And that is indeed what he does. No, and he takes the boss's orders this time. Uh, so plenty of options there. Uh, down to just the two. Drizzle and the Sobble for Piper, but this deck does have the opportunity to swing back rapidly. Evolution Incense, as it's going to be the Raihan immediately drawn off that Shady Dealings for two options from... And then Raihan, right, can only play yep. one supporter a turn, so she's got to fetch the Ordinary Rod with this Shady Dealings, and then maybe find a Quick Ball to get it back, or just go in with the Aqua Bullet. That goes Lesson in Zeal. So the second port out the deck for any card to put in the hand. It looks like the Evolution Incense was there. That next attack out and start aqua bulleting right away. Uh, there is, of course, going to be that put in the hand. The Ordinary Rod comes through, so that Radiant Charizard got to be a candidate, along with that other Sobble as well. That's going to get shuffled back. You want it to be, so you can Magma Basin and some other shenanigans as well. There is now both the energy down onto this Inteleon, so aqua bullet is certainly an option. And there's the Declare. Okay. 100 damage being put down onto this Mew VMAX. She needs, mm -hmm. but it's also the type of hand where putting the... Yeah, yeah, yeah bunch of six cards, whatever it may be, onto the bottom oh. of the deck is still going to be okay. Yeah, very clean play here from Isaac, showing the quick ball coming through. Isaac is going to go through the deck, but uh, of course, no basics uh, remaining the hand beautifully, though. That is going to be a follow-up of the pal pad, so that boss can go right back in, And uh, but looks like he's just mulling it over, uh, just making sure it's all getting put in the deck. So that, that Piper's shown go into the hand, right? Like the evolution incense was pulled, but not used. Yeah. And I think that's something Isaac's very aware of and a little bit scared of. 
uh, does start off with the Fusion Track system. There's a chromatic in hand, a switch, a trekking shoes, and a power tablet. Players need to make sure this Mew changes position. Uh, but the second right. Mew already done is going to be a big thing. There is a heads on the chromatic though, and that's going to be allowing him to go in and grab one card of his choosing. Is it the Marnie? It is indeed ready to go with that disruption, hoping to stick Piper with an unfortunate set of four cards of combos. So putting yep. them to just four cards can be really strong. Yeah, let's see what this comes through with. The trainer's not deciding uh, to mess around with the hands on four cards off the top for Piper. It's going to be the level ball. Uh, I believe we've got... What Intellion. We? Yeah, the <laughs> Intellion, the Hisuian heavy ball. She'll be just fine. Isaac will retreat now into the other Mew VMAX. Yep, this turn. And then, of course, uh, you've kind of just got a couple turns left to just Radiant Charizard for knockout and knockout for three prizes apiece. And I think that is maybe what Piper is trying to set up, just KOing two VMAX Pokemon. Throwing a couple Mews away That's into true. the discard. That's true. So even if he does you know, yeah, get he knocked out, he needs the bench space, so he needs to you know, be able to get one to copy the Psychic League. And I actually think, now that you say that, I do think he has discarded his other two Mew V. So it yep. would have to be a Silene or something like that if he even wanted to go for Psychic Leap. That's a great point. Yeah, that is going to be the knockout on to the Intellion there. So Isaac down to just three prizes. That oh, yeah, there's the Quick Ball discarding the Hisuian Heavy Ball. So knowing that the only the Mews in the prizes, that's not going to be valuable. That can be got rid of. And there is the Raihan. Uh, so the Raihan going in, grabbing that energy from the discard. Go and grab other pieces. Yes. Uh, the scoop yes. up net. Get down the Sobble. Uh, then you're going to get another Sobble down. Another Shady Dealings could go grab that other bit of the Cross Switcher yes. and get that three prize knockout. This is exactly what she's going for. She's got the Twin Energy already in hand. Of course, Excited Heart being activated now that Isaac has taken three prizes. She only needs two. With all of the pieces, make sure that the Drizzar's in the active. There's the attach of the Twin Energy. The Drabble Cross Switcher, the Boom. earlier Aqua Bullet has come through. And even though he's leaving the damage down, there it is. Three prizes to Piper Lapine easily. It's going to do everything he can to fight back in this one. Mm -hmm. And There's it's going to be a long path for him to do it. And Ooh. starting with a Cramomatic Tails this turn is not helpful. To maybe play through all of it. Forced into the Marnie. That's another big Marnie. But Piper seems to be able to uh, be getting out of these pretty effectively. So this deck uh, running at optimal speed. Both trainers uh, drawing up. Four for Piper, five for Isaac. Knows there's one on the bottom of the deck, so just maybe Piper won't find a way to get into one. <laughs> She's got a way to get one. And we it's the see evolution the evolution incense. incense already in hand, and Ooh. there is a painful discard as well on the Pokestop, getting rid of an energy and a boss, and only getting a battle VIP pass, which is equally useless. Yeah, option right there, and yeah, just knocking that out, saying to Piper, I don't think you're going to be able to get it, but Piper has so many outs here. That Inteleon that was put on the bottom of the deck, easily searchable by this evolution incense. That's going to be a Shady Dealings for four to go the second card of that Shady Dealings. So this Inteleon has done a lot of work right now. Uh, there are, of course, more Sobbles that can go down. There's the Clara. This Charizard. is so smart. Bring them back and put it back into the deck. So that would take away her win condition and put Isaac down to just one prize. So this is very, very smart. Playing this rope forces a Pokemon into the active that Piper can bring the Charizard back once more. Yep, there's the Escape Rope into the Charizard at uh, the Scoop Up Net. Just coming down on that fully stacked Inteleon, but it's now time to display a lot with the escape rope. Makes a lot of sense to make that Clara play. Uh, the rare candy coming in to the hand, it looks like. Uh, just making sure that everything is well done. The Quick Ball discarding the Manaphy right here. It's going to be the Mew coming. Well on Piper's side, she's prepping for the worst case scenario. Another Marnie from Isaac Malosky. Yep. Another disruption option. So she will at least have that piece to promote, use the Mysterious Tail, and hopefully that could get her out of a tough spot. Yeah, and that Mysterious Tail, you know, there's still an air balloon as well that could be uh, found. Uh, it's going to be just the r quick knockout there. Uh, so close here at this point, as far as the prize count is concerned. Ooh. But the favor is definitely with Piper Lapine in this spot. Yeah, I mean, he's going for it with the Ultra Ball, just cutting those two Battle VIP passes, taking nothing off it. He's down to so few cards in deck. And I don't know if any of those cards are going to be able to get him out of this situation. Obviously, has to be cautious with the draws, too. Can't be just ripping through that deck uh, with no options to put cards back in. I believe that's Silene, though. Maybe there is some play for him from the discard pile. It's going to uh, start one. with at least one heads. So oh, just the one. Just one, one more item. piece can come back here. And trying to find mm. an answer. And just an Ultra Ball is the grab is probably just going to be used as a way to thin the hand size down to draw more from Genesect here. 
Because there's no other Pokemon left in the deck, I don't think, yeah, at this point. Yeah, he has no way to get that Mew back. He's going to knock the KO, out the Charizard. And here it is, Piper Lapine oh, going yeah. into the deck with the Inteleon. She's playing quickly. I feel like she thinks she's yeah. got it. Grabbing the Clara to the front. Switcher. There's the Cross Switchers. Yep, there's the Clara. And yeah, Clara brings that back. And there's the Cross Switcher play into the Genesect. Piper Lapine is your Baltimore Regional Champion. Wow, I mean, she turboed through it, but all the pieces were there. Yes. What a fantastic run. Another 2-0 here in Top Cut. That mask can't hide it. She's got a big grin on her face. Piper Lapine now a regional champion with her Radiant Charizard deck. Congratulations.